Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be an end-of-year recap video because I saw a news article yesterday. Potentially, an asteroid could hit the Earth on December the 27th. That is a bit bigger than a nuclear bomb. But thankfully, we never had an asteroid hit us. So I thought... I need to do my end of year recap video. I did one of these a long time ago, back in 2015. But between 2020 and 2021, that's been one of the biggest changes of my life so far. So I'd like to um, give you more in depth about it all. So, um, sorry I haven't got my studio mic up and running today. Unfortunately, um, me with cables, um, I managed to break my connection of my, um, Focusrite recording box. So you'll have to make do today with my, um, distorted webcam. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of distortions that I do like from electronic devices, of course. One of them being my Yamaha keyboard, so as the batteries run low. This, this, this distortion picks up. Um, but yeah, so I'd like to tell you what happened last year and um, my posting schedule has been on on a like on a right on a on an evening basis. So let me tell you guys what happened last year which has been pretty exciting for me. So last November I managed to apply for a job at the civil service and um, yeah and I do IT, I'm an IT whiz kid so I I do a lot of computer stuff I, and I help out my parents a lot with my computers and um, in November I got my hands on a very exciting IT opportunity and I can't go into much about where I work and stuff, but yeah, I I was I landed in a really good IT role, and it was a lot better than my previous role. I used to work for a large academy trust group, and um, I I was managed there by two managers. One of them was quite a nice lady. She had a deep Welsh voice, and. Um, yeah, and she sounded a bit like Google, because she used to say probably all the time. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so we had her in one school. Yeah, and she had a nice deep voice, which I liked. And then she was also into computers as well. But then in January back in 2019, I, I was with a, a manager who wasn't very g good at he wasn't a nice guy, but yeah, he wasn't good at my, with like supporting me as much as the other person um, and the other colleagues around me in the school that I was working at. But yeah, one thing I didn't quite like about one of the schools is they had a fire alarm used as an actual bell. The fire alarm enthusiasts will know about the Apollo XP-95. Well, those alarms um, can be a bit loud for some people, like, with autism. So when I was at one, uh, working at, for a school back in 2019, for the whole day, I had to put up with this loud alarm, fire alarm bell, and it, and I actually have a recording of what it used to sound like. So, I used to work in an IT suite, and it, they had this very loud bell, um, yeah, this, this was back in 2018, December 2018, and I used to call it the school buzzer, and it had a very, very cool shaking effect when it went off. So imagine me being autistic that don't like loud noises, like sudden loud noises. Imagine working in an office and you hear this loud bell going off. Yeah, it can be quite frightening for some. 
So, yeah, this IT job that I landed at, um, it's, it's done me good so far, and, yeah, unfortunately, when COVID hit, um, I wasn't able to go in the office as much as I liked, but now I'm in there for the whole week, and my support worker, Ian, who has a nice accent too, he, he goes in with me three days a whole week, so I go in there four days a week, and then I, and my support worker, Ian, is who, who's, who's also my job coach, well, he, he supports me three days a week, and he, and then on Thursdays, I go on my own, so, yeah, and, and that, that job, back in November, one year since I had the job, they told me that I passed my probation, and now I am a confirmed employee! Woohoo! I'm hired! Yeah! I'm totally hired now, baby! So, um, yeah, so, I'm very excited to announce that I am a hired employee, and IT has been a really good interest of mine since I went to primary school around 1999, when it was more peaceful back then. Um, but yeah, um, so, that's that. And then later on in the year, I managed to find a brain shift that was glitchy on... I found the exact brain shift that I had from 2010. When you put low batteries in it, it will go like, Now choose your oot shift! And then I managed to coil a firework display! Alright! And this is the brain shift that I got. That glitches on low batteries. Let's see if they're low enough, because on the strings lately I've been trying to wind down the batteries on the brain shift, see if it can get close to a glitch. Okay, listen up. Get your brain in gear and let's play brain shift. Now choose your game. Game one, stick shift. Now, how many shifters... Ah, oh, they're not low enough. So, while I continue on this video, I will go and put the battery oh. onto drain mode. So, um, yeah, so, that was really cool that I found a brain shift that glitched on late batteries. But, yeah, there were some downsides, though, between 2020 and 2021. Well, especially 21, I had to go through three vaccines. And the last one that I had gave me a panic attack. A couple of spouts of, oh, I've been suffering with a bit of indigestion. But the indigestion side of things hasn't affected me that much for the past two weeks, which is a good sign. And I've been having lots of good night sleeps. And back in October, my dad treated me to a new duvet. And, um, yeah. And also, a good thing that happened this year was that I managed to meet up with Dan Klitzner online three times. And, um, yeah, those meetings have been worth it. As Dan has given us 99% of the new jam guitar samples, which are going to go into our software based version called NJ Rockout. And not only we got the samples, today a guy known as Adam Rossi, who works for KID, will be doing some voiceover work for us. I gave him three different voices to do. I've asked him to do a break the board style voice for the Disney Channel, um, funny lines. Um, a voice for NJ Rockout, which will be used in the prototype and beta voice. And, there will also be a voice in Mob Shift version 2.2 and 3.0. And I also have found a developer who might let us help me fix all the bugs in both versions. So, um... Uh, yeah, that'll be exciting. And then she also might help us with NJ Rockout. She's a female. She's also a voice actor, but she's also a Unity developer. She's not going to be used for recreating the Tetris World's Whisper voice. But, um, 
Yeah, I found someone nicer than her. Her name is Carly Gear on Voices 123. So she's going to be the lady that's going to be used to recreate the Tetris World's voice. And speaking of recreations, I got a big recreation project coming up that will see us into 2022. And that will be the Howl theme. And I got some really good reference material that I can use for it. So yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. And I will be doing a live stream of Apes Exodus later. And let's hope that I beat my world record in any percent no SS. We'll try and get a sub 43. We want to get either a 42 or 41 closer to crashing snakes time. Let's hope I don't get any dommages. And speaking of whammies, I now have a new sound effect for my reset sound. I have found the HD version. It's the HD whammy noise! Yay! Let's play it! Yeah, we got the HD whammy sound! Woo! Ah, oh, stopped by a whammy! So, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for my live stream. And let's see if I don't get any whammies. I'm out.